Well, here's our patient for today. I was out here on uh, Saturday, and uh, basically it was a dirty filter. Train clean air effects. And uh, found that left cell on this heat exchanger. Correct. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change this heat exchanger out. Get it up and running for the customer here. This is a uh, 395 CAV 042091. I think it's from 2002. So let me get started taking this part. Shouldn't take me that long, maybe an hour and a half, if that. I'll take you through some of this. Okay, when I do these, I'm pretty uh, fast paced because I've uh, got to get it done. So uh, let's get this gas out of the way. Take you through some of the tear down. gonna take me a while to get this electrical out okay we got the electrical out let's get the uh, venting off Oops, the igniter busted. That wasn't on there too good. Oh well. We got another one in the truck, not a big deal. There we go. No, didn't take a set long to get it apart. Ouch! Ow! 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 
I got three screws in the back, which am I going to be able to get to? No. Okay, not a big deal. So, oh, this might be a challenge to get out. I can't get the screws out of there. Let's see. Let me look around back. Okay, with these heat exchangers, there's three screws in the back you got to take off. It's a rack that holds the heat exchangers in. And what happens is, um, as soon as you pull the heat exchangers forward, the rack comes forward and releases the heat exchangers. Sometimes it can be a real pain, but we'll see if we can get it. Stick your finger right here and push down on the bottom. Like that. Straighten these out. I took the screws off the top so I can bend that up. Just hold the wires out of the way. Right there, right there is the crack. See it? Right there. So, I don't have anything on this side. So that's where it was cracked at. All right, let me get these out. And what I do, It's a four cell, so I take two sides off, leave the other two sides on, and then I put the t the two on, and then I take these two off, just so it supports itself. I'll kind of show you how that goes. Okay, I got the two off, and it's standing by itself. Okay, got the inlet plates off. There's it is marked top right there. It goes like that. So let me start getting these panels on. I haven't done this in a while, so uh, it takes a little skill to get these on so take this slide it on the angle under here get line it up let me take our our sealer tilt it back and then drop it on there look and see if my holes line up here hit the top two. put two screws in it right now, two at the top, two at the bottom, just to hold it in and then we'll go back through and put all the screws in. Slide it up under. Line my 
my screws up here. And that will line them up up here. There we go. And we'll it on. the same for the other side okay there's the rack I was talking about heat exchangers got to slide into that that rack look up here coils nice and clean uh, so let's get it back in and we'll get the heat exchanger salt in that rack okay we got it slid back in let's start Putting it back together. Okay, that heat exchanger's in, and uh, we'll start putting the lemon in, the gas train, and everything. We're about maybe 45 minutes in, if that, maybe half an hour. So, let me get that stuff put on there. i got to get a new igniter, and we're almost done. So, it doesn't take that long for these, uh, these heat exchangers. It's a piece of cake. Okay, I'm going to get a wire back up. I've done so many of these, it's like second nature. Um, so, it doesn't take a few seconds here. Okay, it's wired back up. Besides high voltage, I just gotta get my high voltage going on up there. We're good, but everything else is wired up. It took me a second. Okay, here's that heat exchanger again. You can see the crack right there. And one thing, there was no way to tell if I had a crack in the heat exchanger besides getting the camera up there and looking. Didn't show any signs of rollout, anything of that sort. Uh, one thing you guys got to know is that it's not cracked from the factory. If you see a crack in a heat exchanger, it doesn't matter if it's not rolling out. There's no carbon monoxide. It's still a crack. So, I'm getting ready to fire this thing off. I told the customer I was going to smoke a little. So, let's see what happens. Yes, it's on. Yes, it's on there. that long to do these heat exchangers but keep in mind like I said it doesn't matter um, 
you know, you get the camera up there and look, and it's got an actual physical crack in that heat exchanger. It's dangerous. Uh, you know, there's there's a potential for carbon monoxide. You know, that's what I tell my customers. It's not, there might not be carbon monoxide in the house right now, but that crack is there. It didn't come from the manufacturer that way. So, just keep that in mind when you're working on these furnaces. These are the Bryant 80 Plus, or the Bryant 383 KABs, or the 58, the Carrier 58, uh, uh, 58 PABs. So, but that's, that's it for this one. It was just a quick heat exchanger change out. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Learned something from it. Um, that's it for this one. Alright, thanks guys. Like and subscribe.